Do it again and see what happens. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. It's on video. It's on video. You put your hand in my car. You're not getting in my car. Call 911. Call my 911. He's a, he's, he's, you see, you see. Hello, everyone. At the U.S. Corrupt Cops YouTube channel, we shed light on and reflect on cases of corrupt cops and abuse of power. In our latest video, we will delve into three cases where police officers were fired after arresting and assaulting a disabled individual. Please subscribe, like, and share the video to promote justice and transparency within the police system. If you like this video, press 1. A couple of months ago, I reported on an incident involving Alberta Rights Media in which RCMP officers assaulted a paraplegic man for filming from a parked vehicle. The constitutional activity, he cannot deem this a crime. If he wants to take it there and escalate it, we absolutely can. But this little cupcake right here, he's gonna do No, no, see. This little here I just told me I committed a crime. I didn't hear that one, but here, can I try to explain it to you? You just touched my Get out of my car! Get out of my car! I can't step out. Okay, well you're under arrest for obstruction. Nope. He found himself handcuffed to the steering wheel but was later released without any charges. However, he spent the following week in a sling because of the injury he sustained during the incident. Unsurprisingly, this wasn't the first time he had been assaulted by Canadian officers. 295 is my badge. 8295, what's your name? Your name, name? Right your name right. is right there. You're covering it with your, with your mic. Vehicle, you're I can't step under, out of the step vehicle. Out of the vehicle you're under arrest. I can't walk. Do you hear me, sir? I can't walk. I can't walk. I can't walk. You need I can't walk. Get away from me. Get away from me. You can't open my door like that. No, then he just drives away. In the summer of 2023, as he was on his way to gather a few items to celebrate his birthday, he found himself being pulled over by Deputy Coucher of the Chestermere Sheriff's Office. So I'm being pulled over. I'm being pulled over and harassed again. Hi there. Can you roll up your window, please? Can I what? Roll up your window, please. I ain't rolling up. Yes, you are. I ain't rolling up. What the f are you talking about? Roll up my window. Okay, could you roll up your window, please? For what? That's For what? is that a lawful? Fucking, did you pull me over to ask me to roll up my window? Yep. Get the f out of here. What's your name and badge number? I'll give it to you when I give when you. Don't give me it now. You. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna... You just assaulted me! What are you doing? I'm a handicap! You goof! Gonna... You! You just assaulted me, you idiot! You're gonna... Arm struggles to regain control of his phone recording after the officer slapped it out of his hand, where he eventually succeeds in getting his phone recording again after it was forcefully knocked from his grip. I respect that you put you your hands on me. You, you put your hands on me. After you, you were You put your hands on me. me. I didn't yell at you. You, you unlawfully pulled me over. You unlawfully pulled me over. You unlawfully asked me to roll up my windows. You didn't see me with tint, so you have no reasonable article of suspicion that they are tinted. You they just are. did it to be a No, I didn't. So go yourself. I'm not helping you investigate me. Kick yes, rocks, man. Get the yes, out of here. Yes, you are. Get out of here. Yes, you are. I can't walk. I can't walk. Yes, I'm a paraplegic, you, you idiot. Where's your, where's your thing? It doesn't matter where it is. Okay, give me your eye, give me your eye. No, you didn't lawfully pull me over. Call another sergeant here. Call another sergeant here. You put your hands on me and assaulted I am, me. I am all the authorization nope. you No, you put your hands on me. I want to speak to someone else. Talk to somebody else. Talk to somebody else. Compared to the United States, Canadian law gives police officers more leeway to pull over vehicles. While in the US, officers typically need a valid reason like witnessing a traffic violation or having evidence of a crime to stop a vehicle in accordance with Fourth Amendment protections, Canadian officers can stop vehicles for reasons as minor as checking for paperwork, conducting sobriety tests, or inspecting vehicle safety without specific suspicion of a violation. Though there should technically be a reason for the stop, these allowances essentially give Canadian police more discretion to stop vehicles arbitrarily. Hold you over to check, check you for tips. It's easy for them to misuse their authority and inconvenience someone as long as they utter the right words to make it lawful in this case. The state would probably support their officer and assert that Aram should have complied with the officer's request by rolling up his window. However, Deputy Coucher assaulted Aram after feeling offended and it's entirely reasonable to desire another officer present for the duration of the stop. Nope. Absolutely not. Give me your ID. Absolutely not. Give me your 
Right Don't worry, you already got one lawsuit. Let's make it another one. Let's make it another one, okay? Okay, ask Andrew Andrew A. Smith what's going on with him. Go ask him. Okay. Let's let's see. Okay. Let's see. You put your hands okay. on me, assault me. I can't wait to go okay. file a complaint. You're a paraplegic, eh? Does it matter? Does it does? It, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It doesn't matter. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I haven't done anything wrong. I've absolutely done nothing wrong. Leave me alone. I have given You're harassing me now. I have given you are you harassing me. I have given you. Fucking harassing me. Look at this. He's harassing me. I've given he pulled you me off for no reason, and he admitted that. I've he pulled me over for absolutely no reason. He put his hands on me. I've and now look at him trying to talk to me. He put his hand, head in my car. He's I on my Get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. I have given you a legal request. Get out of here. No, you haven't. A lawful. Have. We'll fight it in court then. I'll see you in court. F*** off. Give me a ticket if you want. I don't I care. I, I haven't done Driver's license, please. No. I'll give you a ticket. Give me a ticket. I'll give you a ticket. Give me a driver's license. For what? For, a, for, for refusing to. Name and badge number right now. Yeah, 1519. 1519. What's your name? Uh, Sheriff Touche. Sheriff Touche. Touche. K U S C H E. Okay, perfect. Good. Perfect. Good. Stop today. This, no, I didn't. This is all on camera. Good. So is mine. So is my front and my back dash yeah, cam. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You don't care. That's how you are out here. Fucking cowboys. Yeah. Always trying to rope up, trying to fucking assault me because you are fucking a piece of. All right. Okay. So give me a driver's license. I ain't giving you. Sh hmm. Well, you got to. Help! Help! Right. Help! Help! Yeah, yeah, you think it's funny, eh? I think it's hilarious. Yeah, 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 you're violating me. Scream. You're violating me. Scream, scream. You're violating me. Go ahead, scream. Yeah, yeah. Scream all your life. Yeah, you're gonna be, you're going viral, buddy. Yeah, that's right. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I hope you're gonna so. lose your pension. How old are you? How old are you? None of your the deputy's demeanor during this stop indicates that he has consistently conducted himself in this manner throughout his career, possibly even behaving worse, only now settling into this behavior as he nears the end of his career. The proliferation of high-quality cameras has made no impact on his actions because he has never faced consequences, and he is confident that he will not be punished for striking the individual's arm. Eventually, the officer withdraws from the scene, rolling up his windows. You pulled me over. Let's get it straight now. Let's get it for the judge. Okay. Why did you pull me over? I pulled you over to check, check you for tint. Okay. Which and, I am lawfully allowed to do. Okay. And now that you know that there's absolutely no tint on my window, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do, partner? Roll up. Roll up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? No. You already you already violated me. Okay. No tint. Yeah. No f tint. So you pulled me over for no reason. No, 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 no. I, I, no, 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 no. Relax. No, you realize you're the one that wouldn't give me your name and badge number and assaulted me. Yes, I did give you my name. For what? Because you wanted to see if I had tint because and I don't have tint? Okay, first of all, you don't have tint, you're not getting a ticket. Perfect! There's so a... why you pull me over? Because Unlawfully! I'm... Because I want to check you for tint. Oh, you want to check me for tint? Shouldn't you wait till you see if my windows are up and I have tint and then actually to pull me over, you idiot? Like, this is really? bad police, and I hope you have kids and a daughter that sees this. Blah, blah, it's gonna blah. go viral. Okay. You're such a goof, man. You're the worst cop I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, you're worse than uh, Andrew A. Smith. Oh, boy. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, sweetheart. Bye, cupcake. Help! Help! This guy assaulted me. I'm going straight down to file a complaint right now. He stormed off to file a complaint right away. I'm trying to file a complaint at the RCMP. I called the RCMP uh, to make a complaint, and they, they don't even f***ing care. They ain't sending... After requesting an officer to meet him outside because he couldn't walk, Arm waited for a long time. Eventually, the RCMP officer who had reviewed the video footage of the incident informed Arm that he hadn't been assaulted. It was simply his perception of the events. So, even with cameras, there's no accountability. What happens next? Well, we could always try to look on the bright side. You don't have tint? You're not getting a ticket. Ensure that the brightness of a delightful day never fades from your windows and faithfully adhere to all directives, regardless of their seeming arbitrariness and you'll evade receiving a citation. Share your thoughts in the comments below. In April 2023, Alberta media rights activists were filming from their parked vehicle when RCMP officer Andrew Smith and his partner arrived on the scene. How are you today? We're going to call about you. Me? For yeah, what? Because you're videotaping people leaving the parking lot, so they think it's suspicious. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Do you have your license, registration, insurance for this vehicle, sir? Sorry, have I committed a crime? Yep. I've committed a crime? Yep. And what crime would that be? You're being suspicious, so we're investigating Is that a that. felony or a misdemeanor? It's neither of those two things, because this isn't the, the US. Number? Officer Smith asserts that suspicion alone isn't a crime. 
Similarly to the United States, a police officer can only arrest an individual if they have reasonable grounds to believe that the person is currently committing, has committed, or is about to commit a criminal offense. Mere suspicion does not suffice as reasonable grounds for an arrest. Additionally, Officer Smith clarifies that the alleged crime of appearing suspicious is neither a misdemeanor nor a felony, stating, this isn't the U.S. So we're investigating Is that a that. felony or a misdemeanor? It's neither of those two things because this isn't the U.S. Number? It's strange because the Canadian criminal justice system employs both terms to classify the seriousness of a crime, yet suspicious isn't considered a crime in either country. What would you like today, cupcake? Your license, registration, insurance for the vehicle. No, not going to happen. It is going to happen. Okay. You it tell is. yourself that. You can leave me alone, man. I'm here absolutely doing nothing wrong. Mm, you've been called in as a suspicious person. So, so I, I have to... Have I committed any crime? I don't know. Well, you don't, well, when you figure that out, you let me know, okay? Okay. License, registration, insurance, please. Absolutely not. The problem is now you've been called in, so we have to do an investigation. Yeah, you do right? your investigation, sir. I'm not. I'm not stopping you from that. You, 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 you can do that. What's your name and badge number? Constable Newfelt, regimental number six. All right. So as your officer just explained, he said because I'm filming, That's which is my constitutional you. Canadian Charter of Rights, constitutional, I'm engaged in a constitutional activity. He cannot deem this a crime. If he wants to take it there and escalate it, we absolutely can. But this little cupcake right here is gonna be. Sh Similar to the U.S. and Canada, you can legally record individuals in public spaces where there is no reasonable expectation of privacy, such as sidewalks, streets, and public areas. Moreover, there are no criminal penalties for photographing or filming individuals or property that are in public view. Oh, see, I rolled down my window to talk to you to let you know that I mean no ill will or no harm. That. That's it. That. But, that, but you know what? If he's going to escalate it, then I'm not going to be nice to you. But he hasn't. Like, I, he has. I he just to told me that I've committed a crime. No, I don't, this, this little I here just told me I committed a crime. The second officer persists in attempting to de-escalate and communicate with the driver, but his words and the overall confrontation seem to anger Officer Smith, who now tries to slap the phone out of Alberta Wright's hand. Here, just told me I committed a crime. I didn't hear that one, but here, can I try to explain it to you? You just touched my shit. Do it again. Do it again and see what happens. Get out of my car! Get out of my car! Get out of my car! It's on video! It's on video! You put your hand in my car! I can't step out! The other officer just stands there without taking any action, and to add insult to injury, the driver is a paraplegic unable to use his lower limbs, or... Under arrest for obstruction. Nope! Get out of here, man! Don't touch me! Get the f out of here! I didn't commit no crime! You are under arrest. I don't give a f You can't obstruct yeah, me! If I didn't do nothing! Get the f out of here! You got out of my... You put your hand in my car without a f***ing warrant, you f***ing idiot! In this situation, Officer Smith suddenly grabs the driver's cell phone, which damages the screen and stops the recording. The driver claims that Officer Smith then forcefully grabs his arm, causing him pain with a wrist lock, while another officer does not step in. The driver is then handcuffed to the steering wheel. According to Alberta Wright's media, the officers later offer to let him go. But what happens during this time is unknown because the RCMP hasn't released the dash cam footage. However, it's confirmed that the driver is eventually released as he starts recording again after being freed by the officers. Oh man, look at this. I'm just so <sighs> this guy just f***ed me up, man. Gotta go to the hospital now and they're just walking away like nothing happened. Right after the incident, he headed straight to the hospital and wore a brace for a month but there hasn't been any release of records yet. This is just one of the many reasons why I always emphasize recording your interactions with law enforcement, no matter how routine they may seem. You're videoing me there? Does that bother you? Not, not at all. What? So this is a passport card. Do you have a driver's license? Why would you ask? Uh, why would I ask what? About my recording. Um, well, I, I do traffic stops for a living, and probably in the last thousand traffic stops I've done, I haven't had someone hold their phone up and video me. So it's something out of the normal, and when something out of the normal happens, typically I address it. Boy, it happens all the time. I, I, I... Well, it doesn't happen to me. I don't know if you do traffic stops for a living, but I do traffic stops for a living, and this okay. doesn't happen all the time. So you are incorrect. Well, I know I'm not going to get any breaks because I'm recording you with Mrs. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm being a member of the traffic unit. It is my job to issue citations. Everybody goes 60 down this road. And I write 
everyone tickets. No, no, I literally, I write everyone tickets. It's, it is literally my job to write tickets. It's all I do. I feel like you think you know a lot more than you actually know. I think I know more than you do, which is really disappointing because you're a police officer. I'm actually a deputy sheriff. Regardless of what actions you take, keep in mind that it is a government agency that is accountable for releasing this video, in which they openly ridicule a citizen and upload it to YouTube. Information sitting in the driver's seat of that vehicle. And I just, I don't know how to bridge that gap between like ignorance and knowledge because I don't, I don't think that there's enough wood to build that bridge. Keep in mind that the cameraman and editor are being paid with your tax dollars to do this. Sir. Civilian? Yes, it is. In your car? That is correct. Yes, sir. What's he doing? Uh, he's an employee of the sheriff's office. Even if it seems strange or questionable, when we film, it's your right. So remember to keep recording as usual. The mayor of Chestermere, um, and he assured me that, you know, this stuff shouldn't be happening and stuff. Um, but then it just kept happening. And so I tried to reach back out to him and that was uh, Jeff Koval. And yeah, he absolutely wouldn't take my call. I tried to make an appointment to see him, to show him like, you know, like this is not right. Um, I'm being victimized. I'm being terrorized um, by the Chestermere RCMP. Um, I've been assaulted. I've been arrested. Um, I've been humiliated. Um, I've been injured. Um, not just emotionally, but physically. Um, people that live around me think I'm a criminal. Um, and it's just really embarrassing. Um, but there's no accountability. They just keep doing it and getting away with it. They don't need a crime. They don't need probable cause. They make that up after. Um, and they also just say, just deal with it in court. What are your thoughts on this case? Please comment below to share. The scenario is about a YouTube channel run by Wendy and James Johnson, who ask viewers to subscribe. They share a video investigating an incident with the Elizabethtown Police Department in Kentucky. The video shows two people being stopped by the police while parked on private property with permission from the store. The situation escalates because the police perceive their behavior as suspicious. More details are hinted at, encouraging viewers to watch the video for the full story. Police just rolled up. Looking in our car, shining light. It's been coming over here. I'm gonna shine my light back in here. Can I help you? Familiar with this car? That's my car. Well, actually, you know what? I don't answer questions without an attorney present. May I help you? May I help you? I don't answer questions, officer. You are being video recorded. And I'm gonna ask you again, may I help you? What are you doing in the parking lot, bro? I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Have I committed a crime? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Do you have RAS? Do you have RAS? Have what? Reasonable, articulable, to articulable suspicion. Yeah, you're in a parking lot after the business is closed. Is that illegal? Huh? Is that illegal? Suspicious? Is there a sign? Suspicious? Is that a felony or a misdemeanor? Do you want to make headlines? I put my light down since you I put my light down since you put your light down. Do you see these plates? I have transport plates. I don't answer questions. I have not committed a crime. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? If so, what crime do you suspect me of committing? I don't answer questions. And I'm going to tell you, you can see transport plates. You see these are all tech vehicles. You can see my car is hooked up to that truck. You're not getting in my car, bro. Bro, you're not getting in my car. Call 911. Call my 911. He's a, he's, you see, you see you're being recorded. Open the door right now. I'm transport plates on the front of my vehicle. I am shut down. I'm not getting out of here, bro. 
I'm not getting out of this car. There's an officer over here threatening my life, my safety, and my liberty. And we're just parked. He's trying to get in my car. He's trying to break into this truck. No, we're transporters. They're we're from all tech over here on Elizabeth. They came over here demanding ID. They can't put your hands up so I can see you. Now then the state trooper over here or somebody. Your door locked too. We don't have to get out of here. We need a supervisor ASAP. We're over at Sam. I need a uh, supervisor. We are transporters from all tech. My hands are right here. I'm videoing everything. Don't lie on this. These guys are officers. These guys are three officers. Terrorizing. You're scaring me. I'm not armed. You got a gun. You got us with our hands up. We're, we're, surrounded. Up we're surrounded right now. We are transporters. We are from transporters. All tech. Elizabeth Town, we got two brand new all tech There is no no parking sign here. Well, shutting down the vehicle. I don't have to get out of here. I haven't done anything wrong. They're trying to get us out of the vehicle and everything. We have not committed a crime. We haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything. Look, that's where my. I'm sorry. We are parked. We are parked. We're not driving. This is no ID. We have the right to remain silent, bro. And right now, you are committing deprivation under the color law. I. I address you and I demand you yeah, to cease and desist. The sergeant is on the way. She this said. is deprivation under the color of law. I haven't broken any lines. Any laws. Okay, we haven't what is your name and badge number? You're a public servant. You're a public servant. What is your name and badge number, sir? I don't even know if these real cops. They won't even tell who they are. They won't tell us I don't care about that, bro. I don't know if you the cop. Anybody can get a badge and a, a, a gun and a, a fake thing. I don't know that. I haven't done anything to you. They're sending, they're sending a supervisor. I mean, sorry. Y'all demanding somebody, scaring us, talking about get our hands up. You got your hand on your gun, bro? They're sending a sergeant. Why do you have your hand on your gun, sir? Bro, I can't identify myself. I haven't broken any laws. No, I don't. This is not the committed crime. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm stopped here. I haven't done anything wrong. And your badge number and your name. My badge number is 139. Team mentor. Okay, I got it. Team mentor? Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you. You know why? Because you address yourself. We are citizens of the United States. We the people. Let me finish. We the people. You work for us. He works for us. Correct, this sir. is a public servant so who will not correct. identify himself. This correct. other guy is over here listen. threatening. Perfect. He's menacing me. The Supreme Court ruling when you're requested to exit the vehicle, whether you committed a crime or not, you still have to exit Wait, the vehicle. Why, Upon request, I, that is a traffic stop. I don't, this traffic is not a traffic stop. stop. Not true at all. We are it's shut down for tonight, the night, bro. Is the vehicle running? Is she in control of the vehicle right the now? The vehicle, we are is parked. She in control we are shut down for the night. Is the vehicle running? I don't answer questions, sir. Okay. In simple terms, a police officer made a mistake by using a ruling from a court case involving a traffic stop incorrectly. The case involved a person who was pulled over for a traffic violation and was found to be carrying a concealed weapon. The U.S. Supreme Court said it was okay for the police to ask the person to step out of the car during the traffic stop. However, the state of Pennsylvania later said this decision was wrong. In the specific situation mentioned, the people involved were on private property so the police needed a valid reason to make them get out of the car. You and after there, see, I try to you talk to you and be reasonable, but you have to exercise my constitutional rights, okay. which I exercise all my constitutional okay. rights. We be people. Listen, we don't make the law, we enforce the law. We also what law was broke? You took an oath, bro. Vehicle. You took an oath to protect. The lot. You took an oath. Let me ask you a question. Did you, not, or did you take an oath to protect the United States Constitution? Yep. To I protect the law to let me finish. Did you take an oath to enforce the laws of the United What laws are broken? These are suspicious vehicles now. The vehicle. These are brand new vehicles. You know they were picked up right off the road. I don't know but let me tell you. you did you take an oath to protect my rights? Did you take an oath to protect my rights, sir? Yeah, I also took an oath to What is the First Amendment? Money. Is there any no parking sign? Can you quote the First line? Amendment? Is it, is Can you quote the no Fourth Amendment? The because fourth if amendment you pull me out of this eight. car, if you threaten to arrest me and pull me out of the car, you violate my Fourth Amendment right there. So I also have a listen, fifth. Let me finish, sir. You out of the car. Let me let me finish. You don't listen. You can let me finish. You're not in control of this. Right you're gonna now, keep now you're hollering at me. Like I said, open the door, or we're gonna. What's get your name and badge number, sir? Sergeant McCall, one seventeen. All right. Can I door. ask you a question? This is the sergeant. This is the sergeant. Have I broken any laws? I don't know why they're out. You're being recorded. You're allowed to write. We're shut down. We're shut down for the night. We're transporters. We're transporters. We're getting our food from Taco Bell. Get out of the vehicle now. 
Wow, really? This is what's going to happen? Yes, he's definitely being recorded. He is inside my vehicle That's opening fine. the door. We the have not committed a crime. Get out we are sitting here. Get out he's pulling me out of the vehicle. Get out. He's Nobody pulling me out of the vehicle. Get out. 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 There's no way I was 65, but I've got it on here and I can verify. I absolutely know I wasn't doing 65. So. Okay, I, I had you pay. If you're trying to give me a ticket for that high, I'm going to prove you wrong. We Sir. Hi there. All right. Good morning. I guess. Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going to? Why are you heading for? Why did you pull me over? Which I had and because I had to pay the 65. It's 55 here. There's no way I was 65, but I've got it on here and I can verify it, so that's fine. If, well, you're, if I need a ticket for it, I'll bring this in because it'll show that I was. That's fine. That's fine. That, that's your right. You but I absolutely know I wasn't going 65. So. Okay. I, I had you paste, sir. So. Well, you didn't. That's fine. You can tell. You, you know. You can. Well, I won't. I'll bring the video, and the video will show That's exactly right. how fast I was going. Just so give me your license of proof. You want to write me up for that high? Yeah, That's pretty remember. ridiculous because it's I not even. I never accurate. said I was going to write you up, but oh, okay. I definitely well, got to pull you over because you definitely yeah, were speeding. Okay. All right. Well, I don't feel like I was. I mean, I'm not trying to be totally argumentative, but I wow. know that that that, that, that was well, definitely not the right speed. So That's for sure. Well, you weren't doing 55. Let me put it that way. Um. Yeah, I believe I was. Okay. Well, you you can tell that to somebody. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll bring the video if I have to. If I don't get a ticket, then cool. But I mean, if, I'm meticulous about how I drive and well, the good. speed that I go. So. That's good. I wish more people here's were that. like wow. So I know I wasn't speeding, but uh, here's this if you want to check everything. Uh, you need registration as well. You need here's registration as well. I just need a license. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you, sir. If you're trying to give me a ticket for that high, I'm going to prove you wrong. A few moments later, the officer returns. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Every center. Oh, thank you. Looks very good much. to me. So I got no problem with you. Just slow down a little bit, okay? All right. Just between you and me. I will tell I, you this. I appreciate yeah. you don't do 75 like some dudes. Okay? No, I wasn't doing that. I, I know you didn't. I was I would write you a ticket. I wasn't even going 60. I appreciate you. I do appreciate you. That's why I have this, so I can always be sure. You might want to recalibrate that because mine doesn't lie, I promise you. Well, you said you didn't say you radared me. You said no, you I pace you. So that's not that's but, not pointing but, at equipment. Pacing but just a, a little but, future reference. Uh huh. If, if if I would write you a ticket for Understood. that and I pace you, yeah. And a police officer tells in court to the judge, you know what? I pace them and say, we don't lie, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. that's quite the stretch, to be honest with you. You okay. weren't you were not over ten miles an hour over, okay? Mm -hmm. That's that's the reason I don't write your ticket because okay. I don't want to mess with you. Everything checks out. Your license sure. is good. All right. You ain't got no big record or nothing, so you are good. Just well, thank you. Know. I appreciate you guys keeping the the streets safe. We will, and, you know. We will. We, we. I mean, you know how it is on Bradley Parkway, sir. If you drive here a lot, oh yeah, you see yeah. that you see dudes doing ninety on here. Oh, so yeah. that's what try to enforce. Well, here's the deal. We I have I have the YouTube channel, and I got video after video after video of yeah. me going the speed limit and everybody whipping by, and it's like I don't feel safe. Yeah. But I don't speed up to go with them. I still keep going. And that's speed. good. And we need more drivers like you, then. You know, that's and especially on 65 when when they made 65 down to 45. Yeah. Between Dickerson Pike and uh, Trinity Lane, mm -hmm. nobody was doing that. Everybody was trying to do 65 and 70, and I'm over on the right going 45 because it was yeah. construction zone feeling like I'm going to get and destroyed. You should have more drivers like you, sir. Yeah. And that's that's honest. I mean, that's straight from the That's honest. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I'd rather get you out there catching somebody doing something wrong. Oh, we will. Yeah, I don't want to take you. I don't no, want to keep you too long. We've been long. at it all night. You wouldn't believe how busy we are. Yeah. And I was just passing by and uh, I go up to, to Opry and Two Rivers and yeah. patrol that area. And you just have well, to be Join U.S. Corrupt cops in fighting against corruption and abuse of power within the law enforcement system. Join us to ensure that those who abuse their authority will be held accountable. Subscribe, like, and share today.